the pumpkins and welcome back to my channel it's gothic vegan 05 here back with another video if you are new here then i'm so happy to meet you and if you are a returning subscriber hello welcome back and thank you so much for coming back so today's video is a little bit bittersweet for me um so this is the box of goth um july box um for anyone that doesn't know box of goth is a monthly alternative subscription box um, you can have a one-off box, you don't have to have a rolling contract. Um, if you like the theme, just get in there quick and you can pick up a one-off box. Um, if you want to subscribe, it's £26.50 a month and that does include the postage and packaging. Um, or you can go on there and there's all little little bits of individual things that you can have, um, like um, homeware, candles, um, even I got my doormat from Box of Goth, uh, my Lunar Moon doormat which I absolutely adore so there's all different types of things it's not just the subscription box now and um, Nikki who runs the business is absolutely wonderful I love her so much um, this box has brought so much joy to my life for the last year and a half um, I this video isn't sponsored I have always paid for all of my boxes I'm not asked to make these videos um, but I do love to support small businesses with that being said, um, now my circumstances have changed and I'm living on my own. Um, I've had to pull back on my spending. So unfortunately, this is going to be my last box for a little while, just so I get back on my feet. And um, there's quite a few things I've had to um, cancel. And this is my subscription box is one of them, which I'm really, really gutted about. But I will I will be back supporting her. I will share all of her posts so I can still support her um, from a social media point of view. But um, yeah, just for the moment, this is my last box, which I'm devastated about. So just for a little while until I get back on my feet. So let's get on with it. Bit sad, but I'm excited to see what is in this box. I believe this month is a witchy theme. So, sorry, I've got my window open. There's someone walk, um, window, the curtains are open, so people are walking past, they can see me just talking to myself. <laughs> so, here it is in all of its glory. I feel really sad. I've loved this box so much, um, but yeah, let's just get on with it, I don't want to be sad. So this is how your box will come, nice big cardboard coffin shaped box um, with the Box of Goth logo on there. Now when you open the box, ooh, this is what we're going to see. So the first thing I can see is a Blessed Bee air freshener, oh look. That matches my ring and my earrings. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have this pentagram, pentacle, however you like to call it, um, air freshener. And it's vanilla scented. And it says, blessed be, I know exactly who I'm going to give that to. I don't drive um, yet. Um, I was having more driving lessons and my instructor has unfortunately caught COVID. So um, yeah, he's isolating, so I can't see him for driving lessons. Um, so, yep, yeah, this is more stuff wrapped up in here. What is this? Hibiscus. So, there's hibiscus here. And this says, hibiscus is the ultimate flower of passion. Use hibiscus flowers in love incenses and, sa and sachets. In spiritual practices throughout the world, hibiscus flowers are associated with love and are said to be quite potent and aphrodisiac, aphrodisiac useful in spells and rituals to attract love and lust it's also great for herbal teas and that is that i have used this before i did a self-love um jar um i don't know if any of you saw that video um but um go look for it if you haven't seen it and i used um hibiscus leaves in that then we, ooh, and then we have these little incense cones by the looks of it in here with a little tea light with what looks like some dried flowers in. That's really pretty, really pretty. Okay, and, oh, <laughs> Witch's gas, Ghastly Green Cauldron Bath Bomb. Oh, it smells like sherbet. So we've got a little cauldron here with a 
bath bomb inside so when you put this in the water it all fizzes up like a cauldron i've got my lipstick on there um this doesn't say it's vegan friendly when it normally does if it's vegan so um i will have to check that out but if not my little nieces can have that but that's really cool Ooh, potion bottle fill me with your own moon water oh, so exciting. i was looking into getting like a, a bottle for moon water Oh, lovely. Oh, wow. How cute. That is really sweet. It's like an old whiskey bottle, isn't it? <laughs> That's really cute. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. That'll go on my windowsill. Love it. Can't smell any whiskey in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. <laughs> and we have a little pencil with uh looks like a broomstick that's really cute put my use that for my little to-do lists really really like that oh. we have a little bell here this must be like an altar bell altar bell that's really sweet Doesn't have anything. It would have been nice if it had a little moon on it, wouldn't it? But there is that. I'm gonna miss this box. Weird, wonderful things you get. Um, so we have some incense sticks, and these are black magic. Twenty sticks, handcrafted in India. Oh, they smell nice. So we have those. Ooh, what? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. This little teaspoon. It's got a crystal on the top. That is so cute. Bring that there. It's got like flowers and leaves and things. That is so cute. I really like that. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> so we have a couple of tea bags. Here is a puck of tea, a nighttime berry, and nighttime organic, a dreamy blend of oat flour, lavender, oh, and lime flour. That sounds nice. And then a caressing potion of berries, something, and caramel. <laughs> There's those two there. Oh, that's cute. We have this little witchy print. That's very cute. I like that a lot. Lovely. We have something wrapped up in here. Ooh, this is selenite, isn't it? I have actually a selenite wand on my windowsill. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Looks like a unicorn's horn. <laughs> That's really cute. That's really, really cute. And then I think, oh, what's this? Oh, this is a little candle holder. That's really nice. Little one of the little mini candles, which must be, no? I think, yep, yeah, this is the little information card. So I'll read that at the end. So we have this, then we have this last thing here. And that is it. It's quite a lot in this box, actually. And the last thing I'm going to be opening for a little while, pooey. Wonder what it is. Oh. We have a little necklace here with a little witch's hat. Very cute. 
it's very sweet lovely so the witch's store cupboard this is called so we have let's just have a little recap we have the twisted selenite wand we have the pentagram spell candle holder we have the black magic incense sticks we have ooh, the carved teaspoon the witch's broom pencil the illustration by lana shum La lana shum sorry lana shum the cauldron bath bomb the mini altar bell the pucker tea nighttime sachets the tea light and incense cones and the witch's hat necklace plus another item that's not noted as i was still trying to sort at the time of printing it was being a witch <laughs> so there's three things extra that aren't on there which is the um, car air freshener the hibiscus and the moon water bottle how lovely thank you so much i really have enjoyed these boxes but just for now i just need to take a bit of time out and try and save some money um, and unfortunately subscription boxes and things like that are the first things that i've had to kind of break away from for now but i will be back i will continue to support box of goth because i love it so much um nikki as i say is really really wonderful um, and um, yeah, I will continue supporting her via social media, but please, I will leave the link to her website down in the description box and please just go and check it out. Um, even if you just buy one off pieces, um, so you don't have to have a rolling subscription, you can just check out the box. Um, follow her on Instagram where she releases the new boxes and um, then you've got to get in there quick because they do go very quickly she makes a certain amount and most of those go to the people that subscribe every month and then she has a few boxes that she can just do for one-offs so yes yeah, £26.50 a month that includes your postage and packaging in the UK um, and that's going to be it now as I won't be buying a lot of stuff at the moment um, I may not be doing weekly videos um, so I will be uploading a little bit less. Um, to be honest, I was going to kind of end this channel. Um, I've been doing it three years next month and it hasn't really kind of taken off how I wanted it to. Um, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it and I really do enjoy doing them. Um, but I think I'm just going to have a little bit of a break um, and try and come up with um, some more things that that doesn't involve me having to spend money all the time <laughs> because I will be honest with you it's lovely to get stuff and review it um but it's costing me too much money and you know I've as I said I've been doing it nearly three years and I still don't even have 500 subscribers yet but it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate everybody that is watching me and is liking my videos it's it just gets to me sometimes I do feel like I spend ever such a lot of money to try and review things and the numbers and the likes just aren't there so it's a little bit downhearted so i want to go away think about some new material that i can do that doesn't necessarily involve me having to keep buying stuff all the time and um, i will hopefully be uploading next week because me and a few of my girlfriends are going to a fairy festival in uh, the new forest um and um we're doing that saturday so i'm going to try and vlog that um because that'd be something a little bit different um it's uh one of my friends loves fairies and I, I think it'd be exciting i'm gonna go as a goth fairy i'm gonna dress up i've got a pink wig i've got a black tutu some black boots and a little cardigan and stuff and um yeah it's uh i'm not into fairies per se per se but um my friends do come to a lot of stuff that i enjoy like vegan festivals and gothy gothic-y thing so I'm going to go along to this fairy festival which I am really excited about so I'm going to try and vlog that um but yeah my videos may just not be weekly now because I can't afford just to keep going out and and buying stuff but um if um I go to a new um supermarket for instance and find some vegan things to eat I might do that I might try and come up with a few recipes vegan easy recipes 
Um, I am at the moment doing um, intermittent fasting, which I've only been doing it for a week. Um, but I've lost four pounds in one week, which I'm really, really excited about. So if that does progress, maybe I could do a video on that. So this isn't, uh, you know, this isn't goodbye. It's just I'm going to sit back and just try and think of some new material and um, that will hopefully boost the channel a little bit because as I say it's um it's just dwindling. I, I keep losing a few um subscribers every day and then a few come back. I'm sure there's one person that just keeps unsubscribing and subscribing to me and then leaving me thumbs down all the time. Um <laughs> so if you don't like me, just don't watch my videos. Um but yeah, it's um it's sad. I have tried, I really have tried over, especially over this last year, to consistently upload, but it's it's just getting too expensive for me just to buy stuff and no one's really watching, so boo-hoo to me. So yeah, I'm going to shut up now. If you did like this video, could you please remember to give it a thumbs up for me and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Um, as I say, I will try hopefully upload next week um, and then after that my videos just won't be um, every week. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Um, I will see you soon. And in the meantime, please take care of yourselves and each other. I love you all so much. And I really do appreciate your support on this channel. See you later. Love you. Bye.